I think it's uh, just the knowledge of everything. You know, I just remember in the first year, it was there was a lot going on. I mean, we were having to tell them numbers and explain every route and the pass protection and the run uh, running scheme. And uh, now it's really short signals, and there they go. You know, I mean, we can run 16 plays in a short amount of time. And, you know, even this time last year, we were running eight plays in the same amount of time. So we've doubled all of that, and everything's correct. So they understand where they're going and, and why. And uh, it's it's exciting, man. You get to year three, it's to me, that's always been the big one, you know, year three. And, and actually the weight room kicks in by that time because there's no shortcuts to that. And um, But that weight room has paid off. So we're, we're strong enough to do things we need to do. And uh, our guys know what they're supposed to do. It's, it's fun. It's, it gets to the really fun time. Uh, you know, we got Isaac Amaya now uh, uh, running quarterback. Jeremy Padilla is our running back. Um, those, two, those two spots are solid for us right now. Uh, at receiver, we got a ton of guys. And the best thing about it is we have a lot of juniors and then we have a lot of seniors, too, that maybe didn't start last year but got to play some, but they've all been running this offense for this is the third year now. We got Devin Beard, you know, playing uh, <clears throat> um, Alex Smith. Um, we just, there's just so many guys that we can mix in there. Torian Lentz is on the outside. Alex Alvidrez is on the other side. We got Sam and I we can put in there. Um, just the list just goes on and on. So, but those guys really do understand what's, what's you know, what the offense calls for, and uh, we're getting to the point now where they're running their routes, and if, if there's defenders there, you know, they're doing something different. They definitely have worked their butts off in the weight room. And, uh, you know, I think everybody says that. I'm telling you, I've, I've, you know, this is my fourth school I've been at, and so I've seen a lot of things happen with kids that haven't been used to something and getting used to it. And uh, um, we had a guy this summer that was late, came in just two minutes late to practice. And our, our coach fellow said he told him, hey, you, you know what, you, you can practice, but you don't get to squat today. That's a big deal, you know. Don't tell them that because, you know, they would rather skip other things but not the weight room. And uh, so that's been a huge difference maker for those guys. Um, you know, the size. I think I think a spread offense, you know, and a hub tempo, you know, if you really understand how to run it. And, uh, you know, I, I've been doing it since 2001. So, I mean, however long that is, a long time. Um, but the kids understand the way that we like to do it. And I think it if, if you're not bigger and – than, than another team, this is the, it equalizes everything. Our line guys, they, they really built this whole big old co cohesive thing they got going on, which is great. You know, it kind of became like a virus that was good and it spread. And they, I mean, those guys love hanging out with each other. They, um, you know, you got Brevin, who always lead, leading the charge, Brevin Young, and, uh, and Adrian Mackey, the guy wouldn't say a word last year. And now, you know, we can't get him to be quiet, but they are really comfortable with themselves and, uh, and around each other. And, but what we developed is our offensive line and defensive line, guys are going to play both. You know, they're going to, you know, we don't have a starting defensive line or a starting offensive line, but we've got about 12, 13 guys that can play both. And, uh, and we just tell them, you're, you're going to hold down the line of scrimmage for Hobbs High School, whether it's on the offensive or defensive side. So they'll play pretty much the whole game. They'll play some offense and some defense, and they don't have a favorite. You know, a lot of guys, well, I'm a defensive guy. These guys are line of scrimmage guys. And, uh, and they understand that, and uh, so they don't, they don't care if we have the ball or the other team has the ball. Um, they're going to play offense hard. They're going to play defense hard. They're going to do their job. And, man, that's hard to – I've never seen that, you know, be built with guys where they don't care. They just take care of their business. And then you get to the linebacker spot. Um, you know, we got Patrick Smith and uh, – or Patrick Sanders, rather. Uh, he's – this will be his third year to start uh, for Patrick. And Jared Reber, also, he's a junior. And uh, – yeah, he he reminds me of uh, Randy Franzoy that we had back in Hatch that was, you know, went to New Mexico State to play, but uh, and as just a junior, big and strong and very aggressive, and uh, and on the outside outside linebackers we got Dalton Piwanitsky who played some safety last year, and uh, but he's put on a lot of weight, uh, a lot stronger, still fast, so he's going to be playing outside linebacker. Chris Kirkendall, uh, you know, some guys that I mean, we just got a lot of outside linebackers too, so. Um, but it's really based on speed, and, and, and we like those guys in those spots. Andres Caballero and Alex Smith and Guy Ross Tippi, and then we got uh, Andre Gomez, Justin Santos. You know, there's a lot. We have a really good receiving core, and, and it's when we seven on seven, when it gets intense, it's really difficult. Sometimes I feel like, you know, they got nine guys back there, and um, they understand our schemes very, very well. They communicate very, very well. They've worked together a lot. And uh, when we go against each other, it's, I mean, we really do make each other better. 
and uh, it has a lot to do. Coach Landreth does an awesome job with our defensive backs. They they have great technique, and uh, uh, it's the first year our our secondary. Um, you know, we gave up a lot, but you know we we're pretty excited if people are going to want to pass the ball on us. So, and, and that's our whole goal is with our offenses try to get ahead in games and make other people start passing the ball and get out of what they want to do a lot of the time. So if that happens, we, we feel really comfortable. Yeah, we got uh, our schedule. We've tried to make it tougher, you know, since I've been here, and we haven't been able to accomplish that until now. Uh, we dropped Gadsden and picked up Mayfield for the first game of the year. We've been working on that for a couple of years and finally got it, um, which is good. So we'll be going to the Field of Dreams to play Mayfield opening day. Uh, it'll be a Saturday afternoon game, which is good. You know, it, I like playing a Saturday afternoon game just because uh, a lot of kids, you know, they haven't been to the playoffs before. You have sophomores that become juniors, and a lot of playoff games are in the, in the Saturday afternoon. So that at least when we get to that, it's not the first time we've ever done it. We'll do it right there from the very beginning with Mayfield. So that's a obviously that's a big game for us. Then we come home first uh, home game against Artesia, uh, who you know in this part of the world that's uh, that's a that's like a rivalry game for us, 60 miles away. And uh, so we get Artesia coming over here, which will be a big deal because we beat them last year, and first time in a long time. And uh, so they'll bring, a, they'll bring a big crowd, and of course we'll have a huge crowd for our first home game. Uh, and then uh, uh, then we, feel like we follow that up. We have a lot of the same people we've been playing. We got Roswell High, and then uh, we got Goddard in there. Uh, Lovett Coronado is going to come over, um, which is a very athletic team, very good quarterback. Um, just both sides of the ball, they're secondary, very athletic. So playing somebody from Texas like that. And, and, uh, and Lubbock just got uh, the Caprock coach from Amarillo went to Lubbock, so Lubbock Coronado. So uh, they're going to be throwing the ball around a lot, um, but they'll be getting used to their system. So that'll be a great game, uh, especially you know here in Hobbs, Texas being so close, getting uh, Texas school in here. Um, and then uh, you know we get our well, we got Lovington. We always play them, so we're going over there this year. That'll be fun. Uh, they'll be good at that point of the year. And then our district, you know, we got Alamo with us now. Um, and we got uh, Carlsbad first, though. So, uh, you know, Carlsbad is a team they've been waiting for. And uh, um, there's, you know, I mean, we get, when you start, when you're over from Hobbs and you start talking about Carlsbad and Clovis, you know, I, I mean, I've been here three years, but I know, you know, there's no love loss. And those are going to be huge games, regardless of records and, and all of that stuff. So we're, we're really excited to play, you know, all those district games and, and uh, get into the playoffs again and, and see if we can cause some trouble.